Here is a detailed showcase and summary of the Ford Bit Adder created by Ben. This shows the finished functional version and I will insert a quote-unquote summary provided by Ben the creator of this. The Forbit Adder. To understand what a Forbit Adder is you need to understand what binary is. Binary. Binary is a scheme with only two possible values that being zero and one with zero simply being off and one simply being on. This is used in computers to do anything. The binary is stored in logic gates. The basics being the AND gate and the NOT gate. These gates can be used to create any other gate there is and eventually form a computer circuit. Binary can also be used to store data like numbers, letters, symbols, and more. An example on how you can store numbers using binary is 10101. This might seem as a random set of numbers but this actually represents the number 37. An easy way to decode binary is by making a table with each row having 1 multiplied times 2. When you do this and put the binary code under it you can easily decode the binary. Logic Gates in BAB The creation of logic gates in Build a Boat for Treasure can be done in many ways but there are two main ways you could do it that being movement based and delay based. Movement based is when specific movements create the desired output and is one of the simpler ways to make an adder since it could be right used. Delay based is a whole lot more difficult since you can't really change anything with a signal and that's where a not that much used game mechanic comes in handy. Void tech. Void tech the term that I name it is a way of deleting a signal using the void. This can be done by dropping a delay in the void while it has a signal in it thereby canceling the signal. This is very useful in this case since this makes most logic gates possible. The only gates that can't really use that technique are NOT gates. This will be the case for any gate that requires a NOT gate since we can't create a signal out of no input in that. Thereby we need to check if the gate has gotten an input which makes working with NOT gates a giant mess. The Adder The 4-bit adder consists of for 1-bit adders. Each of the 1-bit adders are assigned to 2 bits of the binary input and we'll have to look if they get no input, 1 input, two inputs, or even three. This is done by using a mix of three gates that being the and gate the OR gate and the X OR gate. With those gates connected I can automate the calculation and thereby automate the adding. I do this with for one bit adder so if I connect everything I can create a four bit adder. This can later be expanded to an eight bit adder, an olive, and much more. The possibilities are endless. That was perfect timing because now we will be showing some of the bloopers which are the prototypes he made before the functional design. So this is the second prototype clip and they both were working fine there was just one connection that was missing that he had to fix. These will be shown in three times speed as otherwise they may take too long. And now we will be showing the void tech in a way. So as you see we are very close to the void, round a quarter of a stud away so the impact of a jump is enough to kill you. Now watch this secret you didn't notice.